Hey guys, this is the back panel of a military flak jacket, which is of the same construction of a bulletproof vest. I've taken one apart, and by the end of this video, we'll see inside there, and you'll be able to see what that's all about. But there's layers of that, I think Kevlar material, something like that. Like I said, same thing like a bulletproof vest would be. And uh, let me show you why I'm shooting at this thing. All right, so years ago on YouTube, I actually did a test with one of these vests, and all the handgun ammunition that I shot at it, all the way up to 44 Magnum, did not penetrate. Not even a 12-gauge slug went through. It's a hell of a vest. All the rifle rounds that we sent, of course, went straight through. Now, the, the information that I've gotten is that this stuff, because it's traveling at 2,000 feet per second, will defeat that bulletproof vest. That's what we're going to try. <laughs> That's really why we're here. But, but first what we'll do is we'll throw some regular ammo at it just so we can, you know, determine some nice 357. We can determine how bulletproof that vest is. So anyway, let's get going. All right, first thing we're going to be shooting is your typical 9mm. Uh, I think this is either critical defense or critical duty. Uh, I'm not real sure. Nine millimeter, here we go. All right, you see where it went in there? And uh, looks like the moisture where it smacked up against the uh, log, but no, uh, no holes, and I can feel the bullet. Bullet stuck right there. All right. Next thing we're going to shoot is this uh, Hornady. Uh, let's see. I believe it was uh, Hornady Plus P. It says on the back. I'm not sure exactly. It's a little bit older ammo. Shooting out of the uh, old 45. I'm going to aim at a different, you know, a little bit different spot. That second shot I just shot into the wood. All right, that shot uh, right there feels pretty deep. Again, nothing went through. Sometimes the bullets... You can't find them because they sh they like fly off in a in a different direction. Let's try the ball ammo next. I'm gonna leave the uh, camera up close here for you guys for this one. Same distance. Gonna be aiming a little bit lower. Alright, and so for that one, that's down here. There's the bullet. I can I can feel literally feel the bullet right there. Again, no holes. I'll shoot up kind of there next time. Alright, this go round we're using 158 grain. Pretty typical uh flat nose uh copper bullet. 357 magnum. All right, you can actually still see the bullet on that one. There's the bullet right there. Still hot, very hot. And uh, starting to get a little bit of a breakage on the, what you call it, uh, the fabric on the back side. But all right, and this is why we came here, folks. This is the Civil Defense 9mm, uh, 2,000 feet per second, and a Glock 17. Let's see if it goes through. Let's see if that's just an urban legend. 
Here we go. Okay, there was almost no recoil, but that looks different than the rest of them. And, uh, no. Did not go through. I mean, not that I can tell. Let's get a fresh spot right there. I'll leave you guys up close. Well, you know what? It almost went through. I mean, it really... All right, I loaded up five fresh rounds. That new little area right there. I'm gonna hit it five times. stuck it to the oh yeah they're they're going through there because they're just deep in there yeah because it's pulling that thread out and going up in there so yeah I'd say they do you know I don't know how much penetration it's getting after it's going through there but yeah I guess I would say they're going through and they're just going in the woods so I can't see but that's some pretty deep holes in the woods so that's uh and then the rest of them didn't do so much but those civil defense i guess they do go through maybe i'll get a hammer and bust that log open and see if they're in there <laughs> 